Hello, hello, and welcome back to my October Daily little mini series on my channel. If you want to learn more about October Daily, I'll post the link down below to my video titled October Daily 101 so you guys can find out more information. It's basically like a December daily, so yeah. <laughs> um, for this day, which is gonna be day three, I decorated my room so the main focus of all these images are gonna be different um, decor and stuff that I have and pictures that I posted on Instagram. So for this first card, I'm using my uh, Jeepers Creepers kit. This is the paper from, it's a 4x4 card and I just cut it down to size. And I think it went really well with the black and white photo of my little um, decor. I just love it. So I'm using this Tombow Stamp Runner adhesive, which I love and I gotta pick up more of that because I ran out. Um, I'll have everything that I can link to down below if you guys are interested in purchasing some of these things for yourself. Most of the things I do use also come from Michaels, like these washi tapes, so unfortunately I can't link to those items, but I will link to what I can find. I'm using um, some enamel dots and I tend to use a lot of enamel dots for some reason in this project. I don't know why. I feel like I've never used enamel dots before this October Daily. I'm using them on almost all of my different pages. Anyway, so I'm using a black one and then some glittery ones from Dope Crafts, I believe. And I'll try a link down below if I can find the link to that. And I'm using the After Dark stickers sheets for this one. Added some bats. I thought it looked really cute. For my next card, I'm just kind of, the image is going to be about Beetlejuice in my tree. <laughs> and the paper is also for my um, Jeepers Creepers kit. This gold, not gold, this orange um, glitter tape is from Heidi Swap from Michaels, her little Halloween line. And I like to do this, I like to cut my glitter tape in half so I can use them in smaller sizes. And I think it turned out really cute. So again, the ghosty paper is designed by me. I just love that paper, it's so cute. And so um, I'm going to use the Pebbles Boo chipboard stickers that I got this year as well also from scrapbook.com in case you're interested and so I think they're really cute and um, in my Jeepers Creepers kit designed by Danny from Pop Fist Paper on Etsy and I have the link to her shop down below in case you're interested in these stickers um, I used a sticker that says um, ghosts have real spirit and I thought that was really cute and I was inspired by that little saying so I decided to add these really cute black enamel hearts to the ghosts um, it will ghost have hearts. I don't know. The boo sticker that I added here is from After Dark. But yeah, I thought that was so cute. I really like this page actually. I think the whole look of it, all three cards came together really nicely. The hearts that I'm using are from Sugar Dots from Prima, the Anna Marie collection. I don't know if that exists anymore because it was a really long time ago. But if I do find it somehow, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I just really like how this card turned out. I think it's so cute. And for the third card, I'm just using this black and white striped paper that I have and um, my picture is supposed to be 4x6 but I printed a little smaller. I use my Canon selfie to print and when I print with borders, it kind of shrinks the picture a bit so it's a lot smaller than 4x6 and I kind of like that. I do that a lot with uh, the 2x2s as well. So I'm using the After Dark puppy stickers and I just love how these little pumpkins this little banner, I think that's what it's supposed to be. It looks so cute with the purple washi that I use. And that purple washi is from Little B. Um, I got it last year for Halloween. And I think it looked really cute, the purple and the black and white. It's like one of my favorite things, um, color combos. So I thought it looked really nice together. And I just spelled out Halloween room with those uh, letters that came in the After Dark sticker pack. And then this is a little strip of uh, leftover glitter tape from the other card I made. So I just add it down there and these are the thickers that I like to use. They're called sprinkles. I got them at Michael's a couple months back. I think it was in March. They were on liquidation so I got them specifically for my October Daily and I've been using those numbers throughout the whole uh, uh, project, I guess, the whole book. And so I'm using this tiny paper clip that I got from Sherry who's scrapping and wrapping in a Halloween pocket letter swap we did I think back in June or May, I'm not really sure when. And I used it and it's so cute and I want some for myself because I like these little mini paper clips. <laughs> So 
I'm decorating the back of day two, which is that little spider web pocket um, from Michael's, little paper bag. And so for the back of that, I decided to use a close-up photo of my Christmas tree. What am I saying? Of my Halloween tree. Wrong month, wrong holiday. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like to do that. I like to use layering and stuff on the little bag. And if you guys want to watch day two, I have the video I posted up yesterday so you guys can check it out. And so I'm using some... Um, doodle bug paper and then some can company paper the doodle bug is the stars and so I think it looked really cute I just did a simple layering I edged everything with black soot which is I'm doing that a lot for every page in this album it kind of ties everything together this is a spider web sticker from my jeepers creepers kit and fun fact I actually drew that um, it's an actual illustration of mine and all of my all of my images actually were designed and drawn by me so that's fun. And these are some stickers that I got from um, Sabrina in a swap and they're so cute so I decided to add them like the little spiders hanging from the web and then I'm using these Dewcraft neon orange glitter enamel dots again um, like I mentioned before I'm using them a lot in pretty much all of my pages. So here is a little tassel I got from Sabrina and I just added some googly eyes to make it into a ghost. and. Actually, this little pocket that I'm adding here, it actually ripped off, so I'm going to have to find a way to make that um, secure and stay in my book. So I'm working on the back of the page. This is still day three. I have a lot of pictures of my tree and decor. So um, I didn't do it much for that. I'll put a little embellishment on that card after, but that's pretty much what it's going to look like. For this card, I'm going to add a photo of... So this was Saturday, and... A lot of people were getting my Jeepers Creepers kit in the mail for the first time so I kind of took pictures of what people were sharing on Instagram and on my Facebook and the little um, one of the photos is actually Danny from her video and she um, opened it up and it was really fun to watch so I find like in, in the end this whole spread kind of looks busy and I think it's because of the spiderweb paper um, again designed by me and I really love it but I feel like maybe it was a little too busy for the spread it was just too many stripes with the packaging and I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think, if you liked it or not. So for this card, um, this is actually a Mambi Project Life card that I got a couple years back from Michaels and it's a purple foil on an orange background. I think it looks really cute and so this picture is again from my decor. And I'm using this um, Pebbles washi tape from the blue collection that came out this year. And I went with the blue because I thought it looked really cute. And then later I add a little mummy sticker that I got from Sabs as well in a little a swap we had together. So now I'm working back on the 4x6 card and I'm going to add the same washi tape that says blue on the back of the photos just to kind of tie in both cards together. And as you guys can probably notice, I like to work on more than one card at the same time. I don't stay on one card until it's finished. I kind of go from one card to another to another and I just kind of, that's how I work even with my pocket letters. Whenever I get an idea, I just go with it. So my video kind of jumps around and I hope you guys don't mind that. So I'm back to this little card and I add that little spooky sticker. And then I'm back to the 4x4, 4x6 card, and I'm using this um, chipboard skeleton. I think he looks really cute. And I added some of these um, glittered stars that I die cut with the MFT star die. I think it's really cute, and I wanted to use some glitter orange paper for that. And I think it turned out really nice. Again, using the Tombow Aqua liquid glue. I love it, and it doesn't, it doesn't leave any residue if you want to wipe it off or if you make a mistake. And I added some candy corn stickers from Pebbles and the little skeleton dude is also from Pebbles, the blue collection. And the little jack-o'-lantern sticker in the center of that photo collage is from my paper kit. So um, it's a Jeepers Creepers sticker that I created. And that's it for day three. Let me know if you guys think it's too busy. I would love to hear your opinions on it. I think it looks a little busy, but hey, it's done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more, comment if you'd like and I'd love to hear from you guys. Make sure to check out my Halloween series. I have a giveaway going on right now and I have another giveaway coming at the end of the week because I'm guest designing for um, Diamond Dyes for the Halloween swap and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. That will be on Saturday. 
I'm also having another Halloween hop with some YouTube ladies um, the same day. So I'm going to have a lot of videos for you guys coming up. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!